CBN Health News, overcrowded hospital emergency rooms. Nationally, the wait can be as long as more than six hours. At issue, access to health care. News 8 medical reporter Jocelyn Momenta looks at how one Connecticut hospital is tackling this critical problem. It's midday in the emergency department at Bacchus Hospital in Norwich. Already, every room available for a patient is filled, except for one. Waiting patiently, Hilda Ford. My doctor referred me to the ER because I went to see him after I had an episode about not, you know, being able to breathe. So he sent me here. Depending on volume and time of day, patients here could wait two to three hours. We're saturated and it's where we, we expected to be in uh, about four years from now. We were thinking we'd be at the volume we're at now. Dr. Bob Sidman is Chief of Emergency Services. But if we are able to reduce some of our volume, especially for things that are non-emergent, we can have more time to take care of patients who are having an emergent problem. They are getting some relief by way of redirecting the uninsured with no access to primary care. A web-based tool that allows our emergency department physicians and providers to create follow-up appointments for patients um, who are being discharged from the ED with no means to follow up with a primary care uh, physician in the community. There's oftentimes I'll have a patient who comes in with a condition that is pretty serious but not something I need to admit them to the hospital for. Now I have to look at the patient and say, geez, I don't see that you have anyone to follow follow up with and if I don't have that opportunity to have them follow up I may have to admit them. We've done about a thousand appointments to date. Appointments with primary care physicians at local federally funded health care centers. By and large we found that those who do keep their appointments with their primary care physicians um, have reduced their emergency department return by 43 percent. I love seeing everybody coming in it's a backhanded compliment but we're not the best people for all problems. Meanwhile the wait for Hilda Ford I do expect to wait is at 45 minutes and counting. And for people coming into the ED for chronic problems, Dr. Sidman says if they are connected with a primary care physician, they are more apt to stay healthy. Back to you.